we would agree that Uganda has made um, quite a lot of progress. There's some UNAIDS targets um, which have been set, and Uganda, unlike many countries, has actually is, is on track to meet those targets in HIV. Um, it's estimated here, and I have to read this part, 81% of the estimated 1.3 million that we feel are living with HIV in Uganda know their status. And again, I think Maureen could affirm that that's quite a high figure. These are. Now, Global Fund be believes in country um, ownership. So they will not tell Uganda where to spend their money. But Uganda, from the strategic plan, will also say how they want to spend the money. And secondly, we are a gap funder. We don't fund the whole epidemic in the country. We fund where there is a gap. But then, if some people are not willing to come and, and find out whether they are infected, it's a big, big challenge. I think it is a moral obligation on men who are the heads of the families. The Global Fund has zero tolerance for corruption. Zero. And I can assure you every cent of the Global Fund is followed. There is the Office of the Inspector General, and if he comes to Uganda here, and his staff, they audit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>